Hi everyone, today's headlines. NBC announces HSLC and HSSLC exam schedule. Nagaland reports 54 cases of Omicron, 120 new COVID-19 cases. 35 cases of drug seizures in a week. Four dead and many trapped as coal mine collapse in Jharkhand. Arunajal teen was given electric shock in Chinese custody. News in details. NBC announces HSLC and HSSLC exam schedule. The Nagaland Board of School Education has announced that it will conduct the High School Living Certificate and Higher Secondary School Living Certificate examination 2022 in offline mode by observing the SOPs issued by the government. A notification issued by the NBC informed that the HSLC examination will be conducted from March 9 to 22 and HSSLC exam will be held from March 8 to the 31st. It informed that the routine for both the HSLC and HSLC examination has been uploaded in the board's portal www.nbscnl.edu.in. Nagaland reports 54 cases of Omicron, 120 new COVID-19 cases. Nagaland reported 54 cases of the Omicron variant of concern and 19 Delta VOC on January 31. This was updated in a press release issued by Directorate of Health and Family Welfare Government of Nagaland on Tuesday. A total of 152 samples were sent for whole genome sequencing at Institute of Bioresource and Sustainable Development in Impal on January 20. It stated that a total of 73 samples returned positive, out of which 54 were Omicron variant of concern and 19 were Delta VOC while 79 samples were rejected. Minister for Health and Family Welfare S. Pangifom also took to Twitter about the development. 54 cases of Omicron variant have been confirmed from the state. The department has been keenly monitoring the situation in the state and assured that all possible measures are in place. May we all continue to adhere to CAB and vaccinate when your turn comes, he tweeted. 35 cases of drug seizures in a week. Nagaland police registered 35 cases related to drug seizures from January 18 to 24. According to Nagaland police weekly update, a total of 37 people a total of 37 people have been arrested related to seizure of narcotics and psychotropic substances and IMFL. The highest number of registered cases was related to the seizure of IMFL with 27 cases, while 29 people have been arrested with a total of 9,308 bottles of IMFL. Eight cases related to narcotics and psychotropic substances were registered and eight people were arrested, while seized items included 4,878 Proxivone, 55 gram of brown sugar, 15 kilogram of opium, 360 kilogram of ganja, and 0.5 gram of heroin. Nagaland police has been taking measures to crack down anti-social elements and activities. The update stated, four dead, many trapped as coal mines collapse in Jharkhand. At least four persons died and many are feared trapped as three abandoned coal mines collapsed during illegal mining in Jharkhand, Danpat district official said on Tuesday. Prem Kumar Tiwari, the sub-divisional magistrate of Danpat, said the rescue team employed the coal companies, recovered three bodies of women and one of the children from Gobinathpur, open cast project of Eastern Coalfield Limited in Nirsa police station area. Tiwari, who is monitoring the rescue operation, said search for the others who might have been trapped is underway. Arunajal teen was given electric shock in Chinese custody. An official said on Tuesday that an Indian teenager who was abducted by the Chinese army from Arunajal Pradesh has been reunited with his family. At a function in Tuting, Upper Siang district, the Indian army reunited Miram Tarun with his parents on Monday evening, said District Deputy Commissioner Shashwan Saurav. Upon returning home, he was greeted warmly by the local administration and panchayat leaders. During a hunting trip with his friend, Johnny Yanging, 17-year-old Miram, was allegedly abducted by the Chinese army from Lungta Jor area near the line of actual control on January 18. Yanging was able to escape and inform the authorities about the incident. That's all for now. To get the status news, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.